I'm going to be showing you guys the best method to getting any arcade egg that you possibly want with also having the best chance of getting the huge arcade dragon. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, then make sure to smash that like button and click that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Also, if you really enjoy Pet Simulator trading and or entering giveaways, then make sure to join my Discord server by clicking the link in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get on into it. So if you guys don't know where the claw machine is and or even how to get arcade eggs, you're going to head to area 143 in Tech world which is called arcade town once you're in area 143 you're going to see a mini game which is called the claw machine so i already made a video on how to get these tokens pretty fast where you can play the claw machine a lot so if you guys want to watch that video it's either in the description or in the top right hand corner click that little card and it'll take you right to the video so you're just going to walk up to the claw machine you're going to insert your coin here boom there you go we now have the little claw machine and we have like 45 seconds to control it and where we want to go so say I wanted to get any of these items, it doesn't really matter which one. Obviously, the best eggs you want to go for are the blue and pink ones. All you're going to do is just center that claw over whatever you want. Move these arrows around, or you can move them here as well. But this is probably the best way to do it. Hover it over, and just click this little button when you hover over the item that you want. We went for the blue egg here. I don't think we got it. Unfortunately, we did not pick it up. But that's pretty much how the claw machine works. Like I said before, you can go for any of these prizes. You got the diamond bags, the big diamond bags, the huge diamond bags, all that type of stuff. Then you got the one times, five times, ten times, twenty times, and fifty times eggs. Now, what these multipliers on the eggs actually mean is once you get one of these items, you can go into your inventory and click on it. Now, the numbers on the eggs mean how many items you can get from that specific egg. So, if it's a one times egg that means you can only open up the egg and get one item from it and then if you were to open the 50 times egg that means you can get 50 items and have 50 chances of getting the arcade dragon but like i said before the best eggs you want to go for are the blue and pink ones which is the 20 times and 50 times eggs they will give you the best chances to getting that huge arcade dragon or pretty much get anything else you want from that egg now the way to get the best eggs possible meaning the pink and blue ones say you walk up to the claw machine and you don't see any blue or pink eggs and you're like, man, I have to waste a token to try to get one to spawn. No, you actually do not. So all you got to do is click the home button and it's going to take you back to the area. Now, if you're thinking you can walk back in and reset it, unfortunately, it does not work like that. It's going to be the same exact setup. So once you click the home button, it's going to take you back out of the machine and you're just going to leave the server. You're going to want to try to enter a really low number server. If you have a private server, that's going to be the best bet for you as well. And once you join a brand new server, you're going to head on over to the claw machine once again now unfortunately i'm in a pretty full server so it might already have been checked the eggs might have already been taken but you head inside the claw machine egg and it should be a total different layout hopefully no one touched the claw machine yet unfortunately it's pretty cleared out and you can see that someone already got the pink egg from it so it's pretty difficult to find an empty server sometimes that's the best bet to do but if you're someone like me that has their own private server then what you're going to do is just head to the teleport option and you're just going to click the rocket and it's going to teleport you back to world one now, as you can see i'm in my private server there's no one else in here just me so now what you're going to do is head back to the teleport icon click the rocket again and teleport to tech world every time you do this it's pretty much like shutting down your private server and reopening it's where you can get a new chance at more eggs once i'm in my vip server as you can see there's no one else in here it's just me well there can't be anyone else in here since the vip server but all you're going to do is head on over to 143 now these eggs will not be touched because no one else has been in this server so i'm going to head on the claw machine and it should be a brand new layout and hopefully we get some blue or pink eggs just walk up to the claw machine look inside as you can see we got blue egg we got a blue egg but nothing really great now the blue egg is in a pretty good position but i don't know if i can really get that blue egg right now and say i only want pink eggs well then you just do the same exact thing now like i said this works best for private servers if you're someone that doesn't have a private server you can just try to find really low servers and then do it that way but a private server works the best like i said just head to the teleport icon head to the rocket click this it's going to teleport you back to world one and you're just going to keep doing this process over and over again until you get the layout that you want so as you can see back into my server going to teleport to world two and there's going to be completely different eggs in the claw machine and hopefully i get a couple pink ones like i want or maybe even a good bit of blue ones that are in good positions to get there we go we're in our server again head back to 143 head inside and let's see we already got a different layout there's two blue ones at the start let's see if we can get a pink one and unfortunately there is no pink 
one, but there is a good bit of blues in here, not in very good positions. But as you can see, it's a total different reset of all the eggs in the machine. Now, if you're thinking there's some best method to get the egg pretty much guaranteed, it's really not. It all just takes skill. You pretty much just got to line the claw up as much as you possibly can. Before it hovers over the egg, it'll be able to go down and grip it, but there is no guaranteed as well because you could actually land right on the egg with the claw, grip it as hard as you possibly can, and the egg still can bounce out. I definitely recommend to not go for eggs back in the right and left corner because they are far from the actual hole. So if you do end up getting an egg back there, it's a good chance the egg will fall out before it gets to the hole. Then you won't end up getting the item and you'll end up just wasting an arcade token. So I'd recommend getting pretty much any egg that's in this vicinity of the hole or just close to the hole in general. Like I said, there's no method to getting the claw on the egg every single time. You basically need both of those factors on your side and you pretty much will get an egg every time. But that's pretty much all the information I got for you guys on how to get any of the arcade eggs that you want and the best ones at that. Like I said, it's pretty easy to reset them and everything like that. So you should be able to get the pink and blue eggs as much as you want, as long as you just keep doing the reset method. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. If you guys have any questions regarding this video and or Pet Simulator 99 in general, then let me know in the comment section down below. Without further ado, this is the end of the video. So make sure to smash that like button, click that subscribe button and click the notification bell to never miss an upload. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.